What's up guys, my name is Steven Goh and today I'll be reviewing the Canon G7X Mark II. Now before we get into this review, if you'd like to check out the full specification of this camera, it's all written in the description box below. So the reason why I got this camera was primarily to just vlog on it and take some pictures for my Instagram and for my website. And so far, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. So I have a few good things to say about this camera and obviously a few bad things to say about this camera. And uh, let's just kick it off with the good things about this camera. The number one thing I really like about this camera is the stabilization. The stabilization of this camera is just... It's not the best, but if you pair it up with your editing software, I use Premiere Pro, you know, two of the stabilization come together, it just makes it feel like you're shooting on a gimbal. And for such a small camera, I would say that it's just a plus in my book. So the second reason why I really like this camera is the low light capability of this camera. It can go up to the aperture of 1.8. What that means is that you can shoot very good video or take very good pictures in low light. So just a few examples, you know, I was shooting this in an almost no light area and you still can see it so well, even better than your own eyes can see it sometimes. And the third reason why I like this camera is the flip out screen, you know. When you first started out doing YouTube, taking videos, you know, you're just a one-man show. So having the right composition sometimes can be very tough. Having this flip out screen right here, you can see exactly where you want to feel and have the right composition and the flip out screen is just a lifesaver. In addition to that, you know, the flip out screen is an LCD touch display. So, you know, you can tap, tap, tap to focus and I feel that it's just, it just works and I love it. The fourth thing I really like about this camera is the image quality. The image quality of this camera is just really, really very good, you know. Uh, with the GTX 7 processor, you can pick up the 8 frame per second JPEG RAW and I don't know, I don't know, the image just blew my mind. Here are a few examples of the image that I shoot with this camera pretty good right and the fourth thing I like about this camera it's not really a light but it's a very good feature that I like to have sometimes is the time-lapse mode you know uh, there's a built-in time-lapse mode in this camera you can set it up for like a minute two minutes and you will know like how long of a clip you will have for your time lapse six seconds three seconds and it wouldn't eat up all your space if you were just filming a long long video and the last thing I really like about this camera as you can tell it's small it's compact I can fit it in the palm of my hand and you know you can carry it everywhere you go you don't have to bring a big camera everywhere you go and everybody will be looking at you having a small camera like this vlogging in public it just makes it a lot easier so now this camera is not all good there are some bad of this camera but not much so the first thing i really wish i could have in this camera is a mic input you know having the best video picture quality is nothing compared to having a good audio you know i could watch a video on youtube at 240p 360p but i cannot watch a youtube video when the audio is just bad so i really wish i could have a mic input here you just make the audio sound much better not to say that the input mic is not good it's okay but you know it's better with a mic you know you know here you go here's an example okay we have arrived at tan Sui. now time to go back to the hot sun oh my god i think we both are pretty tired already the second thing i dislike about this camera is the focusing system of this camera is just not that good you know when it tracks your face yes it's good but there are a lot of time where i just take this camera and i want to film a situation and i, and I didn't flip up the screen i just film the footage is just blur it takes some time for the camera to focus on your face sometimes and it's not as good as the like, canon atd with the dual pixel focus you know i wish i could have that inside here but you know, it's such a small camera, you can't expect everything from this small camera. And the micro focusing on this camera is not that good. There was one time I tried to take a picture and take a video of a flower in a Singapore, flower dome. I just couldn't get it to focus right. It took me a very long time to get a picture to be focused. So the micro focusing and the overall focusing of this camera is just average. And the third thing I really dislike about this camera is the battery life. But they can be compensated by having more batteries. I have three batteries so that solved the problem. But I really wish that the battery could last longer in this camera. And the last thing that I really wish I could have in this camera was an electronic viewfinder. Sometimes when you're taking pictures in a very bright sunlight, you can't see the screen. You just want to you know, see through the electronic viewfinder, take a good picture. But I don't really take that much picture anyway in the bright sunlight. So I think it's livable so would i recommend this camera to you yes i would highly recommend this camera you know it's really a good first camera purchase that i've ever made so no complaint that you buy it you will regret it good touch screen good overall build you have to be more careful not to drop this camera i know it's quite fragile a lot of vloggers drop it and it's just that's it but uh, i've been using it for six months so far and i recommend this 
product. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because next I'll be talking about the tips and tricks that you can do with this camera to shoot a better image and better video. So catch you all then.